Hey guys, coming at you with another quick video. Doing a little rundown of what's happened over the last few days since I've posted, and like five or six days. Anyways, uh, some losses. There we go. Some losses. The main thing is my Mandarin Gobi Boba. I guess he couldn't handle the swing. I've had him since he's about this big. And he's about that big. He's just been MIA since the salinity swing. I've not seen a body, so taking it up as a loss. Nothing uh, else looks like it's gone for good. Things look like they can bounce back. This could be doing better. That an enemy looks amazing right now. Some of these things are... It seems like every time I take a video, I got things barreling through. Like, this torch is all mad. That frog spawn. That, these hammers are way bigger than normal. Like that guy. You can see him rumbling over everything. Need to, like, thin out and get, like, smaller cleanup crew. It's a 50.3. A water box... 50.3 Zetlite UFOs 8300s awesome lights I love them they're on a Wi-Fi controller I control everything with my phone they shut off when I want them to they're set on a light schedule about 9 hours a day I want to say new piece of equipment is the J-Bow or j -Bow. not Chinese so is the SOW4 controllable Wave maker. Controller's right there. I still need to put it underneath the cabinet. But what I love about this thing, I use like Amazon credit from like, you know, Christmas just happened. So I had some Amazon credit of things I had to return. But what I love about this thing is it does what my ice cap couldn't is actually make waves. I have to dial it in, but this, it just top of the water corals sway back and forth other losses was I think I lost a few polyps in the Galaxia but I had to get the wave maker because on top of the salinity swing I was having diatoms all over like I would clean this thing in an hour and a half film all over I didn't know if that was water quality from the salinity maybe the 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 water I got from the guy had high TDS in it, or the fact that I wasn't running another wave maker. All the corals were happy. Everything was huge. I was like, okay, cool. I'll trade this uh, wave maker in and get some livestock credit at my local fish store. And that's exactly what I did. And three days later, I had to order this guy. I mean, I got $60 for my wave maker and... Well, like 65 and this thing was like 45 bucks, Something like that. I really wish everything was out more so I could show you. Because this phone camera picks it up pretty good. Mocha Storm Clown's doing good. Clean and Crew doing good. Electric Blue Hermit Crabs. Probably need to trade those in and get something smaller. Um... My new Midas Blenny, he was just out. Sleeper Gobi Sand Scepter right there, always doing work. I'll do a few coral piece shots. Look, they, they're always up in my face. Hollywood Stunner, some green mushrooms, some zoas. I can't really tell what they are yet. There's a freebie piece. Awesome Rhodactus I got for free also. Came as like a hitchhiker like this big on that chunk of rock. Grew to like this big and split into two. And now it just recently split. That's two right there. And that's the third one. A very nice orange mushroom in there on the... um a little glass jar you can get on Amazon trying to get it to 
stick to the piece of shell so it grows out and I can move it around the tank. Another one right there on a frag plug. Everything is trying to make this video horrible. Anyways, quick video. I know five minutes isn't that quick, but still. Uh, I would edit these, but I haven't found anything that I like, and everything free has watermarks, and it's atrocious. So until I can find something, I'm just going to keep up uploading with no edits, no cuts. You'll see everything. I won't pretty up my tank. But, yeah, uh, if you like the video, comment, let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe. And also, follow me on Instagram at Royalty Reefing. I post a lot on there, and I'm sure you'll like my content. Thank you.